Hi, Alan Stratton from Aswood Turns. Brent Ross gave me a small piece of African sumac. It's a nice wood. It has a quality of being fluorescing under black light, which I will not demonstrate, but I decided to make a goblet from it. And I, when I make a goblet, I always start with the cup portion and then work down towards the base. With multiple reasons for that. One big one is that if your cup portion happens to have a problem, your cup gets a little bit shorter before you work on down. This one I decided to make a captive ring on. This is my first captive ring. I think it turned out fine. But so let's make this small cup or chalice with a captive ring. I am mounting this 2x2x9 two by two by inch piece of African sumac between centers. As usual, at least for a goblet, this mount is only for as long as it takes to rough a little and cut a tenon on one end. Since this is a goblet and will hang out far from the chuck, I'm cutting the tenon extra long. Then, mounted to my chuck, I can finish rounding. then start hollowing the cup. I'm starting with a spindle gouge trying to cut from the middle out. This goes fairly well despite a few small catches. I have to reseat the spindle and cinch it down more. Then finish up with a round nose scraper. Now to sand the cup before applying lacquer. Now I can move on to the outside of the cup. I want some support. The cup is only slightly larger than my cone center. I'm padding the cone center with masking tape, but not driving the center in firmly. I don't want to dent the inside of the cup. The sumac turns well except for some areas that tear out. I'm getting rather thin trying to remove the tear out. I start to hear the sounds of thin wood. Then the cup portion comes off. Whoops! It's a good thing I started with a long piece of wood. I'm starting over with the cup portion. Now I am frustrated. Instead of hollowing with the spindle gouge, I'm drilling out the end for about an inch. But I still need to round out the bottom and the sides with a round nose scraper. I should have stuck with my gouge. Again, I'm sanding and finishing the cup's interior. Since my goblet is now a short goblet, I don't think I need the live center support and move directly to shaping the cup's exterior. I now decide the only decoration I can make for this goblet now is a captive ring. This is my first captive ring and I don't have any specialized tools for it. First I make a parting cut on both sides of the proposed ring. Then relieve more wood on the bottom side of the ring for access. Then round over the two outer corners into a bead. Next I'm using the tools I made from Allen wrenches for small hollowing. They're almost perfect. The straight one can cut as much as it can and the bent cutter can reach behind. I only wish the bent portion were shorter and that I had an opposite bent cutter for the other side. That will be another tool project for later. I separate the ring but it leaves quite a thin strip of wood on the inside. I'm cutting a flat portion on the stem then wrapping a strip of 80 grip sandpaper around it and anchoring it with a little CA glue. Now I can sand the inside of my captive ring. I try to fuss around trying to sand the ring more with finer grits, 
That's something I'll have to improve with the next goblet. I try anchoring the ring with masking tape. It works, but I feel it is not necessary. The ring seems to be happy to move away from where I'm working on the spindle. Then I sand the stem. I should have applied finish to the goblet, but instead I move on to parting off the goblet. I'm trying to undercut the base just a little, but leave a small column to support the goblet. Finally, I part through the column. I have to sand off the remaining nub with a sanding pad mounted to the lathe. After signing the bottom with a small ball tip pyrography pen, I finally apply lacquer to the goblet. It's a bit messier to have to do it now. I like my little goblet with its captive ring. I wish it were about three inches taller, but it is what it is. This is my first captive ring. I plan to make a couple more Allen wrenches tools to assist me for the next time I make captive rings. That's all for this goblet. Please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe on my website, and tell your friends. Please wear your full face shield. Yes, I'm nagging, but you will thank me later. I'm Alan Stratton from As Wood Turns. Every week I make a new wood turning video, so come on back next week.